And welcome to ChalkPastel.com, all you artists. We are here to savor summer and share with you a lightning bug, or you may call them fireflies, Chalk Pastel art tutorial. And then if you will stay around, we're going to share just a touch of fall. And we are hanging on to summer, but we are, of course, always looking forward to fall. So we're going to combine both of these today. And we just ask that you would please share photos of your time with us. You can share those at the hashtag you are an artist, or you can upload them right here to the Facebook page. We would love to see those. So I am going to turn this around to Nana, and I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Trisha Hodges, also known as HodgePodge Mom. And I will turn it around to Nana, and she'll share with you just the few supplies that you need today. Hello and welcome artists. Today, as Trisha said, we're going to be painting fireflies, or as we call them in the South, lightning bugs or lightning bugs. Anyway, whatever you call them, they are a marvel of the Lord's true artistry with his wonderful insects. And these are such a tradition. I grew up trying to catch them, I was never very successful in catching them because I'm not really that quick, but did have a good time when I finally did get one or two, putting them in a jar and watching them blink on and off. On and off. So we're gonna to try to capture that on some construction paper today. Now, this is what we're, we are going to do. We're going to just use plain construction paper. And it's nothing fancy. You can get just plain old construction paper at the dollar store. And we're going to be using a medium blue color on it because this is a nighttime painting. These are the colors that I've picked out for the pastel painting. Now, I urge you to, when you uh, paint this the first time, to use these colors. Afterwards, you can go crazy and just paint with what you prefer, your colors. We also have a damp or almost wet paper towel to get the chalky off your hands. And I think that's about it. We're ready to begin. And it's going to move closer to the camera and I'm going to turn this down so you get a good overhead view. I'm going to get started. Okay, like I said, we are going to be uh, drawing on a medium blue sheet of, of uh, construction paper. Now this is a throwaway sheet, as you can tell. It's much used and loved, but it helps to hold down the uh, construction paper so it won't go sliding all over everywhere. Uh, I'm gonna bring my chalks a little bit closer to myself. So let's get started. First, we're going to uh, go ahead and get our lightning bug in. All right, this is a black uh, pastel. As you can see, it has a little bit of a point which is so good for drawing. So. This is how we start. Now I'm not making a great big lightning bug. This is just a, an impression of one. Okay, then we're going to put a black band, right there, excuse me, red band over the black. And then his little head. Okay, and there is your lightning bug. All right, he has a wonderful light on his tail, and this helps him find Mrs. Firefly or Mrs. Lightning Bug. And there are a beautiful 
sparks from his light. Now, we're going to put in our sky. First of all, let's start with a light, very light coating of black. Very light. I've turned my black pastel on the side. I'm being careful not to go over my wonderful lightning bug. And we're going to put the sky in, oh, about, oh gosh, almost all of the, the page. There's a little bit of uh, empty space down here, and we're going to take our green, and we're going to put in some summer grasses down here at the bottom. Also turning this on the side, and we can bring the grasses up like this. Later on, you may want to make them, you know, long, beautiful grasses. But I think we've got, got the idea. All right, then, so it's just not completely black and dark, let's put in some blue. Now this is not gonna show up really well, but look how well it, it just folds into that black sky and it's just beautiful what this this color blue can can just add to the nighttime sky and let's just make it just a little bit deeper let's put in some beautiful purple okay i think we've got a wonderful summertime night sky here all the way remember it goes all the way down to the ground. All right, now we're going to put in some uh, Firefly Friends. And as you can see, I have some excess chalk here on my page. What do we do? We do not blow this across the table in our friends' faces. We take it, tap it lightly on the throwaway sheet, okay? and it's all out of the way. All right, let's get some more lightning bugs in here. Now, I'm just going to make little dots of color because these are seen from far away. Now, you don't want to make it look like the sky has chicken pox or something crazy going on here. And I'm putting a little bit of white next to these these lightning bugs so they'll show up so you can put some down near the grass and you can even get some around him I think that's beautiful. This is true summer summertime. Let's just smudge this a little bit so it doesn't look like a rocket going off. Okay. And actually you can smudge just a tiny bit. There you go. Now, I want you to take your favorite color pastel and I want you to sign your name here in the corner. Now, don't write Nana, that's my name. Okay, and then we're going to turn it over and we're going to name this picture. Give it a permanence or an importance. That's what, when you name your paintings, that's what you do, is that you make it important. So you can call this Summer Fireflies or summer night, whatever you prefer, and today's date. And then turn it back over and go and show it to your family and your friends. And they'll say, oh, I know what this is. We have those in our backyard. These are lightning bugs, or you live in another part of the country, fireflies. Now, as a surprise, we're going to have one more 
pastel painting to do. So we're going to just put these aside. And I wanted to share that this is in honor of our new fall video art courses. We know that many of you are getting ready and thinking about starting school and wanting to add art to your days. So we are sharing just a little taste of our fall video art course. We also have a preschool fall art course available at chalkpastel.com and this week both of those are on sale 25% off. Okay, we're back and we're ready to do a really fall painting. Now here we are with our construction paper again in the much used and loved piece of throwaway to help hold it down. And this is a brown sheet. Yes, we're celebrating some fall paintings. These are the colors I have chosen. You might want to get your colors ready because we're going to start on this right away. We're going to be doing a pumpkin. And this is not going to be a jack-o'-lantern. This is a wonderful pumpkin that has come straight out of the garden and he is so excited about being with us this morning he said be sure you really draw and paint me well so that's what we're going to do we're going to take our orange pastel this is just plain orange it's not anything different and we're going to put it on the paper like this then we're going to bear down just a little bit. Look at that. And then we're going to connect it up. And you have a circle. Now, we're going to go ahead and put the wonderful sections in a pumpkin with a darker sort of red-brown color. Okay, and then let's get some real red and make some light here on this one side. And then some orange. And then over here where it's a little bit darker. All right, you have a wonderful tool built in that God gave you, and it's called a painter finger. And you're going to smooth and color these sections. Now, if you get over into the sections with your color, it's perfectly all right. It really is. It's all going to work out. See, you can go back over your sections with a dark brown. And it looks wonderful. Let's put this pumpkin on a table so it won't just fall or roll right off because he is pretty, pretty round. Now, Let's give him a little bit of a stem. I'm gonna have the stem go this way. And because we've just picked him out of the garden, I'm gonna have a little bit of a leaf. And here comes the vine. Looks like a slinky. I think this looks wonderful. I'm gonna give him a little bit more of a side there so he's not quite so. Now, if you wanna get really fancy, you can give him some white here to show color and light because the light is coming this direction. And I think we have a wonderful fall picture. Let's 
smooth this out just a little bit so it's not quite so stark color. Okay, then your favorite pastel, sign your name in the corner, and then flip it over and name it Fall Pumpkin or just Pumpkin, whatever you prefer, and today's date. And you have already a fall decoration, and you've done a wonderful job because you know what? You have proved you are an artist. Thank you so much for joining us today. We can't wait to see your pictures. We hope that you will share those here on the Talk Pastel Facebook page or tag us on Instagram at Chalk Pastel Art and use that hashtag, you are an artist. We have a special giveaway going on over on our Instagram and you and two friends can win a set of 24 brand new Chalk Pastel sticks. So be sure to check that out. And we of course invite you to chalkpastel.com to see those new fall video courses. Thank you for joining us for our weekly art lesson. Look for one each week, most every week, here on the chalkpastel.com Facebook page. Thanks again.